Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. I'm Matt Pullen, and this is our place to share all about how to use your iPad creatively in your classrooms. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll be kept up to date on everything that we release. Now let's get stuck into today's video. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna have a look at some of the additional features that you can find in iMovie that help when you're creating your movies. So I'm gonna go back into iMovie and I'm gonna actually now start to think about how I can use the video of me maybe talking about a process and use that with the video itself. Now actually for this, I'm gonna start a new project so we can go through the whole process. So I'm gonna tap on the plus, tap on movie, and this time I've recorded just a talking head to the camera of me talking about the water cycle. Now this is pretty boring, right? It's just me talking about the water cycle. I'm gonna want some video, some visuals in this to support. Now I've got the soundtrack of me talking through the process. You can see that along the bottom and you can actually detach the audio if you want to play around with things in the audio just by tapping on the video itself and choosing detach. That would still be synced up to my mouth moving. And in this video, I'm talking about the water cycle. Okay, so let's do some things in reverse. I'm going to go to my video and then go back to that video that we've got of the water cycle, which is this one by here. And do you know what? I want that opening kind of section. So I'm going to just going to drag along to here. And I think this is going to look quite nice in my video. Now, rather than it being over the top, rather than it being um, my voice talking over this, what I'm going to do is tap on the three dots this time and I'm gonna choose picture in picture. And what this does, kind of like a, a, a news broadcast, I suppose, is gives you the option to have that image on the screen whilst I'm talking. Now, the problem with this one is it's in the wrong place, kind of it's part over my eye, it looks like it's just been dumped there without any thought. So if I tap on that part of the video itself, you'll see I've got some options on the screen up here. One of them being the arrows, which means that I can now move this and pinch to resize it somewhere on the screen. And I'm just gonna choose that kind of space here. And now when I play through the video, it plays alongside. Now actually, I don't start talking about the water cycle to about here, so I'm gonna have it appear on the screen. I think in fact, I don't even mention the water cycle for a little bit longer, so let's move it along a little bit more to about here okay and again as we've looked at before really really easy to edit these things and as I go through there's different parts that I might want to talk about so here I start talking about the rainfall so I'm going to choose my video up here I'm going to set, find that section of the video where the rain starts to fall and just trim it up the top to about here but this time I'm going to have this as a split screen and what you'll see here is it drops to the same part on my video as to where I've selected it, but now it's my head on one side and the video on the other side. And similarly, I can actually move this around to select the part of the video that I want to use. So I want the focus really to be on the rainfall. And you'll see now as I move through, it's still me talking, still get to see my face as I'm talking through something, which can be useful, you know, the, the interaction that you might want to have with your, your students or the students creating their own videos and you want to see their face as they're explaining something. But then you do have the video up here. Now, let's say, for instance, there's a mistake in me talking or I need to add something additional in. So I think um, around here, let's say that, oh, do you know, what? I haven't got enough information in about something. I'm going to need to record some new um, audio. So I'm going to split the clip as we've done before, make sure that I also split the audio so that I've got that sectioned. And what I'm actually going to do is add in uh, maybe another bit of video of me talking about something different. So I'm going to tap on the record audio. Sorry, record video. Tap on record. Oops. We'll retake that one. Turn the video around so you can see me. Um, and I'm just going to start recording again. So at this point, we can see that as that water has flowed down the river, there are opportunities for us to capture this water, to start to refine it, to use it as drinking water, or for watering the fields if we were in a farming region. 
obviously whatever it is you're going to add in. So now I've added in that extra clip here. Problem is, it's obvious that I've jumped between these two sections. Okay, you can see it's a change of video, change of background. Um, it's it's not going to look great. So I want the audio, but in this section, actually, what I'm going to do is choose a cutaway. So I'm going to go back. And actually, I found a picture which might work well for this, where we talk about reservoirs. So I'm going to go to my photos. I'm going to find a picture of reservoir. But this time, I'm going to tap the three dots, and I'm going to tap on cutaway. And you'll see what cutaway does, is it just layers over the top. Because it's the top layer, it's the one that you will see. I'm going to stretch it across that full section of me talking. So now, you'll hear me saying the words and a process of evaporation occurs. So at this point, we can see that as that water has flowed down the river, there are opportunities for us to capture this water. To, so you get the idea. So that's what a cutaway does. It just means that you can record the video, keep the audio as it was, um, but just have a cutaway, which segues between those two parts. Okay, so nice and simple way to just add in those parts. Now, the next one, to look at is the green screen one, but there's a little bit more behind the green screen. So if I just go back into some of those videos, the three dots, we've looked at cutaway, we've looked at picture in picture, we've looked at the split screen. The green blue screen, there's a little bit more in that. So I'm actually gonna look at that in a completely different video.